lock. We'll hit that unlock in just a second. Turn signal. And this thing looks freaking nasty. Of course the camera is not going to do it justice. Sally here has been through a ton of different headlights. First we started out with the OEM, per usual, then we went to the form lighting, which were absolutely awesome and insane. They went perfect with my Mach 1 bumper, but now we gotta try out something new, and it's from TTABC US. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but I'll put it down on the screen. And basically they are adapted S650 2024 Mustang headlights that fit on the S550. They're actually in this box right here, but not only am I gonna be popping on those new headlights that are gonna look crazy, I'm also gonna put on the crash bar and the bumper as well so you guys can see the complete look because I just finished up with the ESS G3X install. So everything is functional. I'm just waiting on some fuel rail adapters, actually injector adapters so that my injectors over here can actually fit my Gen 3 ported intake manifold. Boy, oh boy, doesn't this ESS G3X look absolutely insane with the grabber line powder coat. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. It's gonna be pretty simple. Now I'm gonna lie and say that I didn't already unbox these to look at them. <laughs> oh, pull this out in just a second. Oh. So this is your 2024 S650 headlight and it has the design for the S550. So this will be perfect. Now I also do wanna open these up eventually and put some RGB in there. I think that would be sick, but wait till you guys see how crazy these look when you illuminate them. They have a whole sequential like animation. So there's your full view, look at it. This thing is crazy. I mean, just look at it. I think it's a massive upgrade over my current ones, you know, because it's just more intricate obviously newer and there's more hype around it. And I also really, really like how they look overall. All right, and then I'll show you all the other one. Obviously it's the same exact thing. I think just the uh, passenger side, possibly driver's side. I don't know, I'm not paying attention. And we do also have some wiring harnesses here. So we have a fuse. I guess I'm just gonna have to read the instructions as to what these do, because they're probably like some extra animations or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, that would be cool if we had some extra animations installation instructions and limited one year warranty look at that that actually makes sense it looks like those wires are for the ambers on top which is just nuts and we're gonna have to figure out all of this now correct me if i'm wrong but i think i'm among like one of the first batch or among the first 10 people to actually have these on an s550 and boy man oh man let's get to the install though because enough with the chitter chatter we can get it done very quick so removing these headlights is actually really simple. You take a 10 millimeter socket, you have two of them. So one bolt right there, and then the second bolt is on the underside, literally right there. There we go. Should pop out, unplug this. Super simple stuff. Old headlight is out. Now I do need to disconnect the yellow wire, which is right here, and this is a turn signal connection. So I'll disconnect that and we'll transfer that to the new headlight. Pick this bad boy up. We're right on over. Hmm. I do think I need to untangle this. So this is going to come from the headlight to the turn signal harness and that's to set up your turn signals like I did before. Now I just pop this new headlight in and if you're wondering how you can align everything, basically you can tweak it and tighten the bolts until everything is good. So I'm probably going to have to focus on this for a second because we do have a big gap with the fender and I want to eliminate that and tweak the headlight and get the fitment right. See to plug the harness back in and the headlight will be functional but unfortunately with these Anderson composite fenders like ever since I did the install the fitment hasn't been 100% and that's because carbon molds can get close to OEM fitment but they can't be 100%. So I try my best to like align it and everything but there obviously is still gonna be a gap. It doesn't bother me, it is what it is. And that's what happens when you put aftermarket fenders on your car, fitment can never be 100%. But I'll show you all how crazy this looks with the unlock. Now I did mention a yellow wire, which is this one right here. We need to hook that up basically for our turn signal. So I did that on the other side already. If we go over here and unlock the car, you can see the turn signal light up. It's that top bar with the amber. So that's pretty sick. So we still need to do that on this side. Let's knock it out, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna take the yellow wire, and mind you guys, I have a 2020 Mustang, so if you have a 2018 plus Mustang, this is gonna work. And then you're gonna go to your fog light harness, like this, and take the blue wire, and basically heat shrink it to the yellow wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip this blue wire in half, because we need to do that, oh lord, right there. Snip it in half so we can do the heat shrink. What the heck's wrong with this thing? There we go. 
And if you guys plan on doing ricer work like me, I highly recommend these wire cutters. They're crazy. So they strip the wire back perfectly and it just makes it super easy. Heat shrink butt connectors are honestly the way to go. Easy to use, get the job done, and waterproof. I guess I can go ahead and test everything and make sure that it's functional. So yeah, now you see my turn signal. So I'll lock, unlock. So when I do my turn signal, I'll do that amber sequence on the top. And overall, this is nuts, boys. This is crazy. So yeah, we're pretty much all done with the install. I'm just gonna need to pop the bumper on and I'll do that in just a second. So man, those S650 lights are perfect. And it goes along perfectly for my reveal with the centrifugal. Put this crash bar back on is going to be quite simple actually. It won't take me long and I actually repaired my bumper. So if you guys recall, I took my stepdad for some final hits with the Whipple before I took it off and I ended up ripping my bumper off on a, basically on a driveway divot. So I ripped the bumper off and I did a DIY repair with a plastic welder. A few moments later. I just finished up with installing the entire bumper. It took a whole five minutes. Devin just came back. Wow. He loves it. It's sick. Yeah, it looks insane. So watch when I lock it and then unlock it. So lock. We'll hit that unlock in just a second. Turn signal. And this thing looks freaking nasty. Of course the camera is not going to do it justice because in real life, way better. Yeah, it's from outer space. Like yeah. this thing is crazy. It looks crazy. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. It's Especially like, with the blower too. Yeah, this is a whole different car than like two weeks ago already. So this is insane. Obviously I'll show you the turn signals, but those are the same exact things as the hazards. Turned off the actual headlight beam so y'all can see it a little bit better. So those are the DRLs. That's what shines constantly during the day. It's an awesome design. I mean, these are a massive, massive upgrade. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I honestly think the S650 headlights are a major upgrade. So with that, I'll see you in the next one.